Hi everybody, this is Circuit Fresh, aka Blue Phoenix. We're ready to continue, finish, hopefully, our Sinfire setup in this part of the tutorial. So last time we created a sound bank in contact. We're going to go ahead and finish that setup here. Make it work in, uh, in Sinfire. So last time we had put a giant in here by default, or just any piano. I'm going to destroy that, and we're going to go to Files, Load. I'm going to load up that bank that we created in the last tutorial, last part of the tutorial. And if I click the wrench, you'll see we've got giant concert grand keys and legato <laughs> ah. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to place this over here and just kind of put this on the side. Yeah, okay. Uh, Windows 10 is really dumb. Okay. So to fix this, we need to go to global device descriptions and uh, click on connectors and channels you'll see here there's this MIDI channel one when we created this initially we said it was a fixed channel uh, doohickey fixed sound <laughs> we're going to change it to dynamic program selection okay we're going to go to programs now and with uh, contact it's a little bit of a manual process but I'm going to try this extract from plugin and it's going to tell us that uh, it does not supply a list of presets or programs. So why don't we try this extract from plugin MIDI? Does not work. Great. So uh, it's not the end of the world. I kind of expected that. So it's a bit of a manual process. I want to say a bit. I mean, it's a lot of a manual process. So you click on the plus under new sounds. You get this thing called new sound. You gotta type in the name. I'm gonna assign the category to uh, acoustic piano. You'll see it gets dragged down in there. Preferred channel is gonna be dynamic. That means on the connector, there's this dynamic channel. That's what it's gonna go through. The program number corresponds to the number before the instrument on here. So you see, we have this really awesome huge drop down. Instead of just being able to type the number in. I have to go in that drop down and select one. Okay. Uh, I hit plus. I move on to the next sound. Concert Grand. Program two. And there's only four here. Um, when you get on yours, and let's say you picked out 50 instruments, and you're like, yay, I'm ready to do a whole orchestra. Well, you'll have to do this. I wish, I don't know, maybe there's some automatic way of doing this, but I haven't figured that out yet. So Legato Ah, this, this is not a piano. We're just, all you have to do is you can, you can either go over here to Category and select a new category, or you can just drag it onto the category you want it to be in. So now it will show up under Voice. If I click on instrument, it will show me all of the instruments I've set up. If I click on an electric piano, uh, I'm sorry, acoustic piano or, or piano, either one, it will show me all of these. Okay, so that's contact. Um, we now have a dynamic channel set up in contact. So if I just grab really quick here, um, let's do a example harmony. This forced e Oh, okay. That worked. <laughs> Somehow that worked. And once again, this is way too small by default. Why? I, I don't know. I don't know. If I click on this, please. Thank you. Okay, so on sound assignment, I should be able to click on contact here. And now it should start playing the giant. You'll see giant is highlighted right now. Wow, that's fast. Let's say I go over here and I want to do Alicia's Keys. And it's not working, of course. So, there is a problem here. I I need to set this uh, MIDI end to Omni on contact. And that might fix this up here. So, let's just uh, let's go back to Alicia's Keys. It's not letting me do it. Um, I don't know why. Let's see. No free channel is available. Current global the giants. Okay. Okay. I think I need to save my setup here. If you hit control S it will save your setup. 
Maybe that's why it's freaking out. Nope, it won't do it. Okay. Let's go to the global rack and see what's going on here. Uh, once again, welcome to welcome to Sinfire. I'll tell you what I'm going to do is just add another contact. Contact five. I'm going to load my bank in this one as well. Set this to Omni input. Close it. And it is also a contact. So now we have a contact A and a contact B. You'll see in the connectors here. So they're both set to dynamic channel. Okay, close that. Let's just hit contact B up and see if it will play ball here. That's something we'll have to do later anyway. Okay, so it's using Alicia's keys. Thank goodness. Woo, it's working. If I go to instrument and pick legato ah. Oh. <laughs> it's a little bit too fast for her to keep up. <laughs> so now you can understand uh, when earlier I said we should make sure the volumes are the same. It means you can go between these seamlessly. If you like the sound of Alicia's keys over the concert grand, for example. Okay, great. So we've got contact set up. So let me show you now. In the global rack, we've got a contact A and a contact B. Basically, you need to create another module in this rack. For each instance of contact, you expect to be running at the same time. Okay, so I can either go into... Global device descriptions, connectors, channels, um, add one. If I just do that a couple times, um, then I'll go over here now and do uh, make sure you're in the 64 bit. I'm just going to add a couple more plugins here, and you have to do this for each one, which is really kind of frustrating, but um, again, you only have to do this one time. Okay, and yes, it's a it's a synthesizer. Do it again. Um, so it really depends. If you're trying to do a full orchestra uh, um, arrangement, this could be a real pain. You got to do it so many times. But yeah, okay. So you do it that one time. Well, you do it four times, but you only have to do it once <laughs> forever. So I hit save. And now I can use, uh, I can have another lane for uh, with a different contact. So this is contact uh, B. I'll make this one contact C, and I'll put the, I'll put my uh, singing lady on there. So if I click voice, I can find her here. And if we just grab another, uh, it's not going to sound good, but so she can't hit those bass notes. It's not she, what she was made for, but. Anyway, so you've got basically a, a uh, you've di two different instances of, instances of contact running now. Okay, so let's set up Zebra. It's actually a lot simpler. If I go into dis device descriptions, I'm going to add a new, I'm going to do the one channel with multiple programs. And we're just going to call this Zebra. It is a synthesizer. Um, it read my mind, I guess. If I click here, it should say uh, it, it's a dynamic channel already. Um, yeah, so that should work. Uh, so it's got this thing called new sound. I don't know why. I'm just going to delete it because I don't need it. If I right-click and hit remove, it's gone. Um, so I'm just going to go to the gear here. And I'm going to say, um, why is it not... Extract from plugin is grayed out. That's awesome. Let's change this to, I'm sorry. Let's change this back to fixed sound. And then back to dynamic program selection. Let's see if that works. Awesome. Okay. So I read in the Yuhi manual, the way you select those different banks is the method of selection is to send the MSB. Okay, so that first bank 
you know what it is. I never loaded up the plugin, so it doesn't know what what it is. That's that's the problem. Okay, we'll get that sorted out in a second. So let's add a, another module here, and we'll load the uh, Zebra Two plugin. Blam. Okay, there he is, and we will we will set this to uh, Zebra. Okay. Now we should be able to uh, go to programs. There it is. Extract from plugin. Let's just hit that up and see what happens. Okay, so it's going to give us this this problem here. So what I need to do here is go into my bank. Let's just load up that zebra so I can show you what's going on here. So if I go to the MIDI programs. You see, number one, I had set up as my pads bank. So I go to programs. I'm going to call this um, pads. And again, it's that MSB. I need to set that to one because it's 001. Okay. And now, if I do extract from plugin, it's actually going to go through and find those patches and put them in right here. Boom. So these are all my pads, so I just need to drop those into, um, we'll put them under pad. Boom, and they're all assigned a category. You have to do this for each of the banks in your plugin. So my leads are MSB2, oh, I've got to change it to MSB, and then set it to 2. And then I just do extract from plugin. Did it work? Okay, so it doesn't show anything until I hit instrument. And then it will show all those. And I'll just put it under synth lead. Bang. Um, there's also this other bank here. It's grayed out. I'm just going to delete. I don't have any uh, base or sub in, set up in Zebra. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to worry about those banks. Um, if I did want to use the base bank, it would be MSB3. <coughs> Okay, we're in the home stretch now. So we're going to go in here real fast and add more zebras. So I need to go back to connectors and channels and just add, add a few more. I'm just hitting enter on those. Global rack, um, you can actually expand this out so that it's a little bit more, <laughs> a little bit less user hostile. So I need to go back in here. I have to do this for each plugin. Sorry to interrupt you, Zebra. Again, you've only got to do this one time. I feel like four is enough for what I need to do most of the time. Um, if you need more, of course, uh, you just got to do more. Okay. Boom. I'm going to hit save again. And now we should be able to use <clears throat> Yuhi instead of, uh, or I'm sorry, Zebra. So I go to Zebra B, and uh, this is not a pad. This is more like a lead kind of sound. So we'll we'll just pick, uh, I don't know, the synth bell, sure. <laughs> that just sounds weird to me. Okay. <laughs> Probably not the best instruments for the job. So let's, uh, <laughs> for this last one, we'll just add a pad and I'll show you real quick. Uh, if I go to uh, interpretation template, we'll do auto chords and I'm going to set up my instrument to be zebra C. Uh, I will pick a, I'll pick a pad out. Uh, I really like this one. We'll use it. I think it's, I think the tempo's too fast or something. <laughs> yeah, this is the tempo down here. Let's let's do that at half speed. That's a lot better. So you can see my pad sound is working now with another zebra. Stop! I'm hitting a space. Okay, so there's one more thing we can do. Uh, real fast, I will show you if 
I open up my settings again, and there we go. Uh, if I go to Global Instruments, you'll see there's this piano, da 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 da. Um, what these do is when you use the palette uh, to do like the sound browser, it will use these instruments. So if I go in here and select a piano, I'm going to use uh, a, um, I don't know, we'll just use this Northern Lights here, the bass. Uh, I don't, <laughs> oh, well, we'll just use this for now. Hold on. Uh, why don't we use, we'll use the Giant for that too. Um, if I hit save now and I go to my palette browser, um, <laughs> there we go. So now it's using the pad that I set up in Zebra and it's, it's using the giant as my base. Pretty cool. That way, if you're ever in, uh, you're doing your little palette browser, you can go to your settings, and you can change the, uh, the the sounds it's using for the palette browser very easily. So I hope you've enjoyed that uh, setup. I know it's very tedious to get Sinfire set up, but once you do it once, you're good to go. I took all my setting files and I put them into uh, Dropbox, so I won't ever lose them. Because I really don't want to have to go through this again. <laughs> I don't think you do either. That's about it. I will catch you next time. Maybe something more creative next time. See ya. Bye.